An illegal immigrant has been arrested after assaulting a man for wearing a Make America Great hat. Rosie Ann Santos flew into a rage when she saw the man with the hat at a restaurant. Her attack was caught on video. Here it is. That's, see this right here? This is the problem. Ignorant, ignorant people like this. I'm just trying to sit here and eat a nice meal. Look at it. Yeah, you see this? You see this? People like that. That's the problem. She just tried to grab my hat in front of four officers. Not smart. There she is. They're getting cuffed. Have a nice night in the cell, Rosie. Well, after the event you just saw, Santo was detained by ICE, which has not yet been banned by Democrats. ICE says she was here illegally and has been for a long time. She overstayed a tourist visa back in 1994. Howie Carr is the voice of New England, a radio show host in the region, and he joins us tonight. Howie, this might be the perfect story. I would think so. This is a, uh, a, a real hate crime with you just saw a video involving a MAGA hat. And the only thing, it, it doesn't fit the narrative. It's, a, uh, it's an American citizen being attacked by a woman who turns out to be an illegal alien by her own admission, drunk. She says, what are you doing in this Mexican restaurant wearing a MAGA hat? And he says, this is America. I can wear this hat wherever I please. You know, Tucker, you would think this is this has all the elements. So I, I texted him tonight. Uh, his name is uh, Brighton Turner. He was uh, preparing for the hoisting exam. You know, he's in the trades. He's a uh, you know, he has calluses on his hands. I guess that was really triggering the illegal alien, all this stuff, and uh, not just the MAGA hat. And I said, so I guess you'll be on with Robin Roberts tomorrow on uh, GMA. And then you'll go on with Brooke Baldwin. And she could say this is America <laughs> 2019. And, you know, I, I, Kamala Harris and Cory Booker, they, are they comparing this? to a lynching and uh, you know the old country song you know when the phone didn't ring he knew it was uh, CNN MSNBC uh, Good Morning America <laughs> NBC nobody called him nobody called him Tucker except for one group nationally with well, two groups if you include my radio show Fox and Friends wants him on nobody else called him all day long yeah, so this is self-serving, but I got to be honest, if they got rid of the few independent voices in media and we're one and you are one, it would just be, you know, a chorus singing the same tune. And that's what they want. Trust me. Yeah, Howie Carr, the thank other... you very much. Thank I'm you, sorry, Tucker. We're, we're too much insanity. We got to go, but it's great to see you.